But if that Chinese boy does does make the final, he'll be dangerous. He was looking great out the back. Now let's uh, bring you a new event, and this is uh, another men's shot put. This is F36, and we're watching Mohamed El Kabi of the United Arab Emirates. Six is opening round throw. It's being led by Vladimir Sviridov of Russia. 1376, Sebastian Dietz of Germany, 1320, and Pavel Petrovsky of Poland in third, 1283. This is Reginald Bernarde of Namibia, who's the lifetime best of 1233, which would be good enough for fifth at the moment. Season's best 1118 wouldn't be. It'd only be eighth. Spirit of our leader setting a new uh, world record in Berlin uh, early in the year of 1521. There is a lifetime best set this year of 1570. That's uh, just a quirk of the vagaries of the result system and what qualifies and what doesn't qualify as a PB and a world record. But he is the reigning world champion, Spirit of, from Lyon two years ago, 14 meters 70. And he's just about a meter off that at the moment. That's a foul by Bernardo, same as Aljour of Jordan and Vaginopolis of Greece. So a bit of work for these boys to do. Into round two, and this is Lee Kuiqing of China, fourth place, 12.73 at the moment. 13.96 is lifetime best set this year, which certainly would be good enough. Right now for gold, put him in the gold medal position at the very least. An improvement of uh, 11 centimetres would put him in front. This was not an event at the Paralympic Games in London, but he goes into third place. <laughs> But back to the men's shot put final, F36, and for Ukraine, this is uh, one of our main contenders here, Mikola Dubrava in fifth place, and 12.33 in the opening round, and it certainly looks to be an improvement. Lifetime best set in the first round. I think he's improved on it. Round about 12 and a half meters. Have to go beyond 13 to get into the medals right now. And that won't quite do it, but it is a new lifetime best for Mikola de Brava. As he throws 12.59. Coming up next for Russia. Vladimir Spiridov, the real class of the field, the reigning champion, world record holder. And that around 13 meters. He's thrown uh, 1376 already. That looks to be a little shy of that, maybe by around 20 centimeters or so. But quickly back to the track, those who are competing in your event, Evan, what, what are the guys from Heat 2 going to make of uh, this, this new sensation, if you like? I know personally when I'm out on the track and, uh, and I'm competing in the heats, I try just to focus on my own heat and uh, winning that. But uh, to be able to see that time come up on the board, you, you, they will have seen it, and uh, they'll have seen the surprise there of the Chinese boy beating both the Brazilian and the South African. And I think uh, a couple of them might be a little bit nervous in this second heat. Yeah, 13.56 that was. Albert Chavor with a foul with his opening through the Jordanian. So can he get to the mark, get beyond 10 metres? a lifetime best just shy of that 
and that's uh, that is going to be shy of 10. 991 is his uh, lifetime best. 897, the furthest he's thrown this year. I reckon that's around eight and a half, so he'll be up in ninth. Yeah, possibly an improvement on his uh, opening effort, of course, which was a foul, so... He's on the board with 8.45 is Alge Ball. Back to the... Second of the men's shot put competitions of the day. This is the F36 gold in the F42 earlier for Alid Davis. This is Reginald Bernarde who fouled in the opening round. Zverdov is leading this with 1376. The Namibian down the field with that uh, opening round. Uh, Red flag, but I think that's around 11 metres, which should put him into the top eight or nine. Uh, Mil Sarek in eighth place at the moment with 11.05. A third of the field from the Middle East, United Arab Emirates with two, al Kabi and Mubarak. al of Jordan also there, and Bernardo in third, uh, eighth place now, 11.17. Well, it's the Chinese athlete who is currently in third position. The lead. But he's best of 1306 heading into it. Well, that one there looks like it's a, a little bit further. Slightly further than his opening two efforts. This is third of this competition. That one there looks like it's around the... Uh, 13.20, 13.30 mark. So it looks like it's an improvement on his uh, opening throw, so that should lift him up into third place, which it does, 13.31. So moving with each and every throw, three to go. Three he's improved on each time with three more, and he's in position number three. So Vidovic of Croatia, he currently sits in sixth place. His third attempt after fouling the second time, 12 metres 10 in sixth position. Looking to improve and lift himself up. And that doesn't look like it's an improvement. Although it might be very, very close to what he threw. His opening of 12-10, foul in the second. And this one's certainly around the 12 metre mark. Give or take. So it doesn't look like he's going to make any improvement on sixth position where he currently sits at the present time. And there he comes in, 11.99. So Alban Vidovic still remains in sixth position. Emil Zaric of Poland is up next. Now he's in ninth position, 11.05 for his second. His best after throwing 10.32 in the opening one, a PB of 11.05 in his second throw. So that one there is certainly over the 10 meter mark, but he's looks as though he's fouled in that one there. So he won't improve on his uh, position, Marcin. Mio Zaric of Poland remains in ninth position in the men's shot put F36 final here on a very sunny day in Doha. And that's one of the, the key things here with these uh, athletes is to make sure that they stay nice and cool and rehydrate themselves between events. There's tents you can see around uh, where the throwing surface is or the running track 
but it's important that they make sure they get back in there because you can dehydrate ever so quickly in these conditions. Oh! Evan, have you uh, ever run as we keep on watching the, the, the shot put? I'm just wait for you to see here. Uh, the man who leads here, Spiridov, who steps up for his uh, third throw. Uh, 13.76 with his first yeah! throw. Here comes his third after 13.56. Slightly less in his second, but that one there looks like it's a much, much better throw. Spiridov, of course, holds the uh, championship record from 2013 in Lyon and also holds the world record from Berlin. Earlier this year, which he set at 15.21. That one there is certainly not out of the 14s. It's still in the 13s, but it's a much further throw uh, than either of his first two. So 13.82 for Vladimir Zverudov. So still a long way off his uh, world record and uh, championship record. But he leads. Just going back there quickly, uh, Evan, there to the uh, rehydration. How important is it to have you run in conditions like this? Look, I'm coming from Australia. I've run in hot conditions, but these are these are new for me. I mean, if I was over here competing, I would be really worried about keeping hydrated, especially when the uh, a couple of the athletes, for example, the T38 200 metres we've just watched, they're going to have their final this evening, so they're going to be back out here. I mean, yes, it will be evening, it'll be cooler, but they've already been in the sun. So, you know, you get that, that tiredness in the afternoon if you've been in the sun all day. And I've said to a couple of the Australian athletes, I've said, make sure you have a sugary drink, uh, unbranded, of course, uh, in your bag. And uh, just in case the, in case you get stuck feeling that little bit flat, gulp it down, get the sugars in there, get the water in there and get pepped up. Well, let's head back to Sebastian Dietz in the third round of the men's job put F36 final. Currently in first position. What can you come up with here? That looks a lot better than the, uh, his previous throw of 13.20. He found his second one. He's in fourth position. What's he done with this one? He looks a much, much happier man with that throw there. Good technique, good push. And that is a long throw by the German. He must be happy with that one. And I'm sure he's going to be happy when he sees that mark come in because it is a certain improvement on 13.20. Well, 14.64, which puts him into the lead. That is a lifetime best for Sebastian Dietz. A fantastic throw for the German in his third throw of this competition. As we see, Saeed Mubarak of the UAE with his third attempt. 8 metres 74 for his opening effort. Well, he's certainly got it there and given that some. I'm not too sure whether he's too happy with it though. He currently sits down uh, 11. Position. A man from the UAE. So I suggest he may be used to throwing in these type of conditions. But that's a red flag. So Mubarak, he remains in 11th position after a foul and a best throw of 8.73 in his second throw. As we see, Petrovsky from Poland. 13, 32, his best so far. Season best, as a matter of fact, for Pavel Petrovsky. <laughs> Certainly not an improvement on that season best that he threw just a little while ago. Maybe the arm getting out a little bit too wide there, not giving him that elevation and push which he needed. Not too far off what he threw though. 13-15 for his 
third, which back to the shot put. Albert Vidovic of Croatia. In sixth position. 11.92, or 12.10 I should say, was his best throw before that. A foul and 11.99 as his second and third. Best place to be, I think, under there. Relaxing. 11.52, confirmation of his fourth throw. So he remains in sixth position in this F36 shot put final. I think we'll be watching this for a good while to come because this is round four. There's still two rounds to go after this. But we're left with the, uh, with the top eight now. Mr. Brova of the Ukraine there with his fourth throw. He's currently in at fifth position, 12.59 was his best. And that one there looks like it might be a slight bit further. It is a third of, third of a foul and his fourth has taken him. This is the men's shot put F36. We've already seen Alan Davis of Great Britain win the F42 shot put ahead of Syed Mamadian of Iran. Men's discus going to Leonardo Diaz of Cuba. Uh, that in the F56 category. Women's shot put going to Sue Lijuan of China, 8.37, not a lifetime best. That's a very good throw, by the way, for the Chinese competitor here. The men's long jump, T13. We saw Per Jonsson of Sweden win that lifetime best, 7 meters 15. So we've seen all those gold medals decided, and we're gonna concentrate on this shot put pretty much until the end of the session. Sebastian Dietz of Germany is our leader there with his third round throw of 14.64. Lee, 13.31 previously, down in fourth place, a centimeter behind Petrovsky of Poland. He's in the medals now, he's gone up to third place, 13.81, and he's only three centimeters away from silver. So Petrovsky has got nothing in his hands at the moment. Down into fourth place, 13.32, finds himself 50 centimetres outside of the middle. All of a sudden, having been a centimetre into the last just beyond 13 metres by Petrovsky. And that was the season's best as well. He's going to have to ramp it up massively. We have a quote, by the way, from Kadina Cox, who set the world record a few minutes ago. In the women's 100 metres T37, 13.59, lowering the world record of Mandy Francois Ali by nine hundredths of a second. And she said if she realised she was going so fast, she wouldn't have eased up on the line. World record might go in the final. It's going to be quite a jazz between her and uh, Francois Ali, certainly. 13.08 for Petrovsky. His fourth round throw and he goes into fourth place. But that event absolutely scintillating, and we have our first world record of the games here in Doha. First world record, and uh, may maybe another one to come from the same athlete, so pretty pretty exciting. It, it can happen like that, with uh, especially with newer athletes, that they don't realise how fast they're going, they're relaxed, and uh, and they run through and get a good time. I then then they find out how fast they're going, and they, and they, they slow up. I think what confused me, we just now see Zverudov, who's about to throw uh, in the his fifth throw in the shot put, currently uh, sitting in second position, his fourth. Out it goes. I'll just come back to Kadena uh, Cox in just a, a moment or two's time. That throw is out there. It's from the Spirit of. Obviously looking to get further up towards the man who's in first place in Sebastian Dietz. He's got a long way to go to get there. Well, 13.84, he's improved on his uh, previous throw of 13.82. So he remains in that second position. He's uh, three centimetres ahead of Li Gongguing of China. 
And here is our leader Sebastian Dietz. It's his fourth round throw, 1464 in the third round to take the lead by 80 centimeters ahead of Smirnov. He's still about 60 centimeters off the world record. It was a lifetime best that he achieved in round three. Improved by about half a meter. That's beyond 14. That looks quite close to his previous mark, definitely. Well, he's a man in form. He'd only broken 14 meters marginally in his life prior to today. He's done it twice in the same combination here. That is not an improvement, but he maintains his advantage. 14.41 is 23 centimeters shy of his lifetime best from the previous round. Bernardo of Namibia just got into the final eight, so his competition did not end early, the Namibian. Well, if you're at home watching him in Namibia, I hope it's uh, filling you full of enthusiasm. Got in by uh, 21 centimeters or so. They're uh, racing through. We're into round five now, by the way. It's reverse order throw. So Bernade first, then Shavronov for Ukraine. The track action is over. We've about 15 minutes left of this. A couple of medal ceremonies to come to round off the opening day's action. But the good news, Tolson, the great news is the sun's gone past the grandstand and it's actually cooled down now. Makes a change. It's cool. We're in a position now, aren't we, to, uh, to not be uh, sunburned anyway as we uh, continue on with the uh, shot put. Zbronokov of uh, Ukraine there with his uh, fifth throw. 11.92 for his second, uh, which currently leaves him in seventh position. Well, that one there won't be too dissimilar. A real turnaround in what we've seen in comparison to last year's European Championships, where Suridov took the gold and Dietz took the silver by a margin of almost a metre and a half. Petrovsky was in third there, and he... Well, Sebastian Dietz, if anyone catches him at the moment, they're doing very, very well. He leads with 14.64. A lifetime best for him. That was the medal order, by the way, for the last World Championships in Lyon as well. Sverdov, Dietz, Petrovsky. It's the Croat, Vidovic comes in. It was a solid 12-meter thrower going into the competition, and he still is here today. At 12.17 is his lifetime best. At 12.14 is his season's best. It's around that mark. So that's consistency at the very least. Excellent field events nation. Blanka Vlasic getting back to her best in the high jump in the IWF World Championships in Beijing a couple of months ago. Perkovic, brilliant in the discus, European Olympic World Champion. And that is a centimetre away from his lifetime best, Vidovic, and that's very good going for him. Lying around sixth place at the moment. Well, that's the Vista we're going to get used to all week. Doha looking good. So here are how things stand at the moment. Dietz leading the way with his lifetime best of 14.64. Lee of China's moved up in the past few seconds, by the way, I can tell you, with a new Asian record. 14.52, Sviridov, the reigning 
world and European champion at the moment, intriguingly, is down in third place. And there's no reigning Paralympic champion in this, by the way. This was not competed for at London 2012, though Dietz did win the discus in the F35 and F36. So we're joining this live. Uh, we have skipped Lee's throw of 14.52, so we'll have to do something fantastic in the final round to impress us. So Dietz, his penultimate throw. Oh, that is fabulous. Now, the championship record is 14.70. The world record is 15.21. I thought that was beyond 15 meters. That is gonna be a very big, big throw when we work out. It may well be a championship record though, which Siridov, who's currently in third position, Holes at 14.70 set in Leon two years ago. Let's see what this one is. Yes, it's a championship record. It's not past 15 metres, though. It's 14.87. He improves his lead by 35 centimetres over Lee with Lee's Asian record, and Dietz now has a championship record. And he's now a championship record holder, is Sebastian Dietz. A fantastic throw. He's been in fine fettle throughout this competition. 13.20 with his first throw. A foul in his second, 14.64 in his third, 14.41 in his fourth, and a championship record of 14.87. That's Reginald Bernardi, who currently sits in eighth position in Namibian. <coughs> we saw him a moment or two ago. He comes up for his final throw in this competition, a best so far of 11.26. And that one, though, is just short of 11 metres, I would suggest, for Bernardi. Now, if a competition isn't considered strong enough, if there aren't enough people at a high competitive level, then the event simply is not held, which is why this wasn't at the uh, last Paralympic Games and it wasn't actually at the 2012 European Championships as well, but it has been at every major championship since. So good prospect, we'll see this in Rio next year. And with... As we go back to the shot put live with Pavel Petrovsky. Yeah, we're near the end now. Petrovsky is in fourth place. He's the third last to throw. They stay in rotation these days in the final round. It used to be eight to one, but now they keep the same rotation for rounds four, five, and six. So Lee has thrown, and he will not improve from second place. 14.41, so can Petrovsky get into the medals? 13.32 is his best. Bronze in the last World Championships in Lyon and the Europeans in Swansea. He hasn't broken 14 metres, which he had to do to improve from fourth place. So even though it's the season's best for him, 13.32 today, he will not medal. Petrovsky's lifetime best is 13.77, so even that would not be enough to win a medal today. The standard has shot up immeasurably, immediately. 13.36. It's his best of the day. It's a new season's best, but fourth for Petrovsky. And the next throw will effectively determine our gold medalist. Spiridov is now in third. The outgoing world champion, the reigning European champion, 1441 is best, an improvement of 50 centimeters, and he overtakes this. Can he do it? An immense effort. That should improve him at least one place, but will it get him up to gold? And Dietz still has one throw to go after this. Brilliant effort by a true champion, Spiridov. 14.41 is what he'd achieved. And that, so close to Dietz, surely. He feels this brilliant. Has he made it? 14.87 is the mark he must get. He will be very close, but not close enough. Spiridov, the silver, 14.79, and Sebastian Dietz of Germany is the new world champion. Well, Spiridov there is up into second place, but it is Sebastian Dietz with one throw to go who will be the world champion and also with a championship record as well, 14.87. Oh, great throwing. That was a brilliant competition. And the final throw coming up for our new world champion in the men's shot put. Sebastian Dietz cannot be beaten. But I'll tell you, Viridov went close, didn't he, with his second to last throw there of the whole group. But Dietz now, knowing he's got it in the bag, up he comes. What will he go? 
He knows he's won it anyway with a throw of 14.87, which is also a new championship record, beating that as Veridov, the man who won this at the last event in Lyon back in 2013. It's a foul, but it doesn't matter because Sebastian Dietz has taken the gold medal away from Vladimir Zverdov, who came into this as the favourite, having won in Lyon back in 2013. Could only manage 14.79, though, after a rather slow start. But what an effort from Sebastian Dietz, the German thrower. There is confirmation of the championship record of 14.87. Zverdov coming in in 14.79. Lee Ku Kuing with an Asian record of 14.52 and Pavel Petrovsky coming in in fourth place. Great success for Germany as they get their first medal of the games.